right, it's Thursday, October 14th, and this is the um, my new first episode of my car blog, pulling out of my driveway and avoiding the car of my next door neighbors who are assholes. Who, uh, they moved in, and the guy is like some English guy. Like, oh, hello, mate. Uh, blah blah blah. I guess that's more Australian. But um, they moved in like four or five months ago, and they like seemed like nice people. And like, oh, we just lived in Malibu, and they had like a Prius and like a Saab, and that's when you know something's up. If someone has like a Prius and a Saab or a Prius and an Audi, they're like up their own ass people, and they can be nothing but trouble if they're neighbors or co-workers or someone you have to deal with in any capacity so within a week I figured out what the deal was because when they were moving in it was just the guy moving them in and he's older he's probably like 40 something and his girlfriend's like younger and I was talking to him about not letting he had a tiny, he had a tiny dog he had two of them he was a little like not chihuahuas but the ones that have hair like more it's like a shitty little tiny dog and I'm like hey bud we get coyotes up here so don't leave your dog in your backyard, especially not at night, because the coyotes come up and they like steal them and eat them. It happens all the time because there's always like missing dog signs in our neighborhood, especially the small ones, cats too. Because like cats and dogs, so the coyotes are like, you know, coyote sushi. So I'm like, yeah, I don't, you know, don't leave your uh, dogs out. But I didn't tell him like a jerk. I was like, just, just shooting the shit with them being nice. And the guy's like, oh no, no worries. Was, That's okay, mate. Because my, my girlfriend is an animal trainer. And the way he said animal trainer, and that's not, again, that's like more of a, of a bad Australian than English accent. Maybe he's Australian. I don't know what the fuck he is. Uh, I don't know what his name is. But the way he said it made me feel like, oh, animal trainer. Like, she probably works at a zoo or in the movies, you know, training like lions or bears or something or, you know, iguanas. You know, animal trainer. And it turns out, like, a weekend of them living there, we find out what they really do. The fucking lady, like, raises and trains people's dogs. Like, she's, a, like, a step above a dog walker or on a mass scale. So at any time, they'll have between their two dogs, their little shitty yappy dogs, and then three to six other dogs locked up in their house right next door to ours, and they'll leave their house for, like, six to eight hours. And so it's just barking, like, rawr, 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 like, every octave of dog and level of volume all at once it's like almost like if you play the keyboard and uh ferris bueller's day off when he presses it and like i'll to do the fake sneezes and coughs all at once it's like that but of dogs for like six to eight hours straight so they're awful a few weeks ago they were gone from like i don't know like two in the afternoon to like midnight and those dogs barked for like eight or ten hours straight and we left i left them like a nasty note saying hey because I went to the neighbor next door to them and said, is this, cra is this crazy or am I crazy? And the guy's like, no, you're not crazy. These people are assholes. And he's like, I got your back. And he's like, I don't know what my neighbor next to the neighbor does, but he seems kind of shady too, like he beats some ass. And I'm like, okay. So I wrote this note and I'm like, listen, we've had enough of this. This is insane. You got to cut this out. And then the next morning, the, the girl who raises the dogs left some big long note on our door apologizing and saying sorry and giving us her cell number, which she called her mobile, which is because I guess her boyfriend thinks, oh, my mobile and my flat. Um, so that was, that happened. And then my wife was like, oh, well, they're nice. And I'm like, they're not nice. They're just fucking afraid we're going to burn their goddamn house down and call the cops on them. So now the dogs were quiet for like a day. And now the dogs are back to yipping and yapping. And they're loud, noisy neighbors. And they're fucking, oh, I hate my neighbors. And then last night, because we're coming up on Sunset Boulevard, uh, last night, I've had the flu all week because I'm stressed out about work and about money. Um, so I've had the flu and I haven't been able to sleep. So last night I couldn't sleep and I went to bed like at 4 and I have to get up like 9.30 for work. Went to bed at like 4 and around like 4.15 there's like some noise outside, like a car noise, like a door and then some like ruffling or jumbling of stuff, maybe some bottles. And then there's like someone yelling from way up down, way up the street, you know, like it's quiet at night, you can hear more. Uh, yelling from down the street. The guy's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like every 20 seconds for like three minutes. And you're like, well, fuck dude, if you wanna know what's going on, you know, put on a bathrobe and grab a baseball bat and go out and be, you know, be God's justice uh, personified. And the guy's like, what are you doing? And then finally I look and it's like this like black teenage kid in shorts and a hoodie and like pulled up socks 
going through the recycling, because today is trash day, going through the recycling bins and like taking out like bags of trash and then going through getting bottles and plastic and then look, opening the side door to a minivan, putting it in there and handing it to somebody, I don't know, like probably a, a relative or somebody or a friend, and then putting the bag of trash back in the recycle bin, not throwing it around, not going through when it's garbage to like get, you know, receipts or anything, just taking recyclables and it's like, my wife was asleep, it was like late at night, it was four something in the morning. And I just stood there at the window and just like watched this kid like do this and it was really creepy and weird. It wasn't like he was doing it. I mean, the guy is going through, he's stealing garbage at four o'clock in the morning. It, besides being loud and inconvenient to my neighbors, we're all like white middle upper, upper class douchebags that work in like entertainment or the periphery of such, you know, they're not doing anything, they're not curing cancer. It's like, it's kind of hard to be mad. It was inconvenient and I was sick and I wanted to go to sleep, but it was just real messed up. You know, this guy's stealing garbage at 4 a.m. And this is the way the kid was running to the trash cans in the van and the trash cans in the van. It was really, no, it's just, I don't know if it's sad's the right word, but it's like, you know, the kid doesn't want to be there at 4.15 in the morning stealing garbage and getting yelled at by my douchebag neighbor and then having me, you know, my boxer shorts peering at the window secretly watching. Oh, Jesus, car accident almost. Awesome.